everyone. Good morning. This is Seeking Sustainability Live number 186. And this morning we are talking with Michiaki Nishio, who's a designer in Hiroshima City in Japan. Thank you so much for joining, Michiaki. Uh, thank you. Uh, for Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, would you mind just briefly introducing yourself? Okay. Uh, mm, I'm... Michiaki, my name is Michiaki Nishio, and I'm an architect. Uh, but basically, I'm mainly working for uh, the design design college in Hiroshima City, uh, which is called Anabuki Design College, Hiroshima. And I'm working. I have been working for 24 years as a lecturer. You know as a teacher <laughs> yeah yeah so we will talk about uh, of course your designs but we will also introduce some of the projects you did with your students which is really interesting oh uh, okay yeah. yeah um so i found you uh i think we connected years ago on twitter uh, uh, yes when i visited the apple store Apple store in San Francisco, not San Francisco, but California. Oh, yeah. And I was showing a picture of the beautiful <laughs> design, minimalist mm. design of the cafe. Yeah. And you contacted me, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yes, do you I remember, remember. <laughs> what you said? Yeah, that chair is uh, made in Hiroshima. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Right? So you, you yeah, yeah, told me. Very, yeah, it's very nice. Beautiful thing. design. Yeah. And this is such a beautiful minimalist design. They have a view um, mm. of the trees nearby. And I, I was in California and I remember you commenting and saying, do you know <laughs> those chairs are from Hiroshima? And yes, I yes. was in California, but I'm from Hiroshima. <laughs> and mm. I was like, what? No way! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was a great connection. But I think mm. this design is also very close to your type of design. Is that right? Mm, yeah, that's or uh, I appreciate that comment. Yeah, because the fur is designer that uh, who that shared uh, design is really great designer in Japan. So yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit how you got interested in design? I read in the Age at magazine you were talking mm -hmm. about as a child you were mm -hmm. always interested in design, but your parents were worried about you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Since I was a child, I'm very. I I've been very interested in. De not design like kind of paintings or making something so yeah my mother often told me uh, you are a good boy uh, with paper and paper paper and pencil yeah and yeah that's why I'd like to be I, I would like to be a kind of artist or designer yeah but you know I, I know uh, that works is something difficult to kind of earn money well so yeah <laughs> so then you kind of chose the direction of becoming an architect is that mm -hmm. right yes yes exactly yeah luckily my father was a civil civil engineering field and making something kind of load or dam or bridges so uh, I saw it. I think it's affect me. Yeah. Yeah. It had an influence on you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And you said your mother was was also very artistic. She would make her own clothes. Is that right? Yes, yes. Yeah, she did. Yeah, making clothes and so many things are sewing the bags or something. Yeah. And then you describe yourself as being second generation hibaksha. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that your work reflects your heritage coming from Hiroshima? Mm, yeah, I'm not sure 
about it myself, but yeah, uh, my taste of design is somehow like, yeah, as you told me, minimalistic and need a space and need a kind of, um, how can I say, the, to be relaxed with blazing, like, so, but I'm not sure it comes from where. Yeah. Well, I, I think your main project we will talk about today, the mm. Hiroshima Graphy, is definitely yeah. connected to the sense of Hiroshima and the history and the nature and keeping things in balance. Mm. So I, I love that uh, very minimalist, very stylish, but also you are representing a kind of new type of branding for Hiroshima, mm -hmm. and I thought that was really beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that what I wanted to say about my through my project, you know. Yeah. Can you introduce uh, yeah. how how did you start your idea for mm. Hiroshima Graphy? Can you introduce it to us? Oh yes, yes. Uh, basically, uh, it was a kind of project which I submitted the, um, for the competition, uh, which uh, the Hiroshima City Museum Contemporary Art in, uh, in 2018, uh, the competition, uh, the title with Hiroshima brand. So then I, so it's really nice if I could give back something to Hiroshima uh, as my project. So yeah, then I started thinking about something from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm showing now the top view of mm. Hiroshima. Can you describe the rivers and the islands? Yes. Uh, Okay, uh, Hiroshima has six rivers, and yeah, often it is said Hiroshima is a city of the river, but uh, I thought it it means also Hiroshima is a city of islands. So I noticed that fact, and I turned to it to the kind of geographic uh, grid to, to design like a kind of shape, yeah. Yeah, and you are also a cyclist, right? So uh, yes, <laughs> yes. You are very familiar with cycling next to and around the rivers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So the design um, takes in the five islands and the six rivers mm -hmm. and you made it kind of a geometric shape, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then how is the geometric shape used in different ways? Can you explain? Mm, in the kind of shape mm -hmm. as, my, as my project. Mm. Yeah, the Hiroshima, mm, shape of the Hiroshima looks like triangle. No, so uh, it turned to a triangle grid, and uh, then I made a kind of uh, system to create the shapes, and I organized uh, the shape into that kind of simple, minimal <laughs> shape. Yeah. How long did it take you to create the finished design? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe one month, I guess, yeah. And did you start with the wooden pieces or did you start with paper or drawings? Yeah, uh, first uh, I started with drawing, just thinking, drawing, thinking, drawing as always. And I found the kind of fact it could be a kind of puzzle. And then I started to cut the paper and the create kind of so many variations 
then, yeah. Yeah, so I'm showing uh, your pieces of the puzzle, so the wooden mm. blocks, and this mm. is available in Hiroshima, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, in kanji, yeah. <laughs> in, yeah, where can people find the the wood block of the Hiroshima graphic? Is it at a store? Oh, yes. Uh, now it is sold uh, just two stores, yeah. Uh, one, can I say? Of the course. Thai, yeah, okay. Uh, one is uh, Tamuro Mokuzai Company very small shop with good craft uh, but it's very small but it's very cozy uh, store nearby Hiroshima station and another one uh, the rest house in the Peace Memorial Park yeah so it's easy to access yeah, yeah. that's great so I yeah. I really like that uh, you have designed this in a very simple, minimalist way, um, mm. but it represents the same view of Hiroshima's geography from the top, and yeah. yet it can be used in many different ways for mm -hmm. for artists or for children. What what did you envision it would be used for? For artists or children or anybody? Yeah, any, yeah, basically anybody. So Hiroshima uh, is a city, have so many tourists usually. Sadly, now is not so good, <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically. And, uh, we, and also with children, like uh, they, mm, I guess, so how I can say, uh, the children can make uh, the play with the puzzle, thinking about design, learning about Hiroshima, and yeah. Yeah, I think um, Hiroshima branding is always a little difficult because of the strong, mm. strong history, yes, which yes. we want to remember, we want to be respectful, but um, how to do it in a respectful way. And I love that you're using the wooden pieces, not mm. plastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so beautiful and simple. Yeah. Yeah, here I have some pieces, right? And the wood is also comes from Hiroshima. And the craftsman is also live in Hiroshima and all kind of team uh, made in Hiroshima. <laughs> yeah, very, I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, we have a comment from Tina in Australia. She mm -hmm. says, I love it. I think we need to have one in Melbourne to remind me of Hiroshima. Thank you, Tina. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so, so glad to hear <laughs> that comment. Tina is a cyclist. She often brings mm. cyclist groups over, women mm. cyclists over to do the Shimanami Kaido. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. so she knows Hiroshima very well. Thank you, oh. Tina. So Thank do you. You, you also are a cyclist. Do you mm -hmm. cycle Shimanami sometimes? Uh, yes, yes, just a few times, but it was really nice, yeah. Yeah, it's always beautiful, especially at uh, spring or autumn, we can see the beautiful mm -hmm. season change, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was really interested to see that you also have some variety of your product into mm. food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you tell me about that? Yeah, uh, my project uh, Hiroshima graphy is not only for a puzzle, so it could be a kind of cookies, it could be a somehow like furniture, like uh, if I made a big piece, uh, it could be a kind of bench or something like that. So I always think about how I could improve my project uh, into so some ways. So. Mm. 
That's so good. I love that yeah. <laughs> the variety of uses of the same design. Are mm -hmm. you are you making the cookie or are you collaborating with a bakery? <laughs> Yeah, you know, first of all, I had to make myself, of course. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, one day I bought an ingredients and I mixed the kind of, <laughs> and I baked it. And yeah, but now I have some friends with collaborate with. So yeah, but it needs time to realize. But yeah, we are continuing the project. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that idea. And I think that would be really fun if you have your Hiroshima Graphy wooden pieces mm. sold next to the cookie version. Mm. Um, it's nice variety of the yeah. same, same idea, right? Really mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. it. Yeah, so um, maybe someday in the Hiroshima uh, museum shop or in a bakery like Anderson mm -hmm. or something. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you I can so. collaborate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, can you tell me about the MOCA event, the museum event? Mm. Uh, with this puzzle? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it was a really good competition or the mm, exhibition, uh, so many designers uh, thought about Hiroshima and made about the kind of Hiroshima, uh, like mm, using traditional uh, skills in with craftsmanship or something. Yeah, it was a really nice program. Yeah, they uh, they are going that exhibition and that convection at, uh, once a year, yeah. So everyone can join, can, yeah, apply the project, yeah. So when you entered the event, was it mm. 2018 or 2019? I, I, I think 2018, mm -hmm. yeah. I noticed that Hiroshima Museum of Contemporary Art is now closed. Yeah. Um, until 2023. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. But maybe they can do an online event. I hope they do something online. But it looks like everything stopped for the time being, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I checked the website yesterday. <laughs> and they are working uh, outside of the museum. So for some place like Nichigin, Former, former Nichigin, uh, or some, some, somewhere else. Oh, they that's bring good. their their works they have. Oh, good, good, good. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. So you said Nichigin. Um, I should mm. say to anybody who doesn't know Hiroshima or oh, Japanese, yeah. that's mm. the former Bank of Japan, which mm. is now used as a gallery space or art space mm. in Hiroshima yeah. City. Mm. Yeah. Um, I love that art as an art gallery or a peace event or something because mm. if you go inside, you can see the old bank windows, right? Mm. Really old style. And uh, if you go downstairs, you can see the bank vault. Yes, yes. And you can see the, the art installation. So there's like a, a lot of history of Hiroshima mm. and art together. I think it's a really nice venue. Yes, yes. I like that building too. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had an exhibit or something there that you went to? Mm, yeah, uh, I had uh, some exhibition there uh, with uh, other designers or, yeah. Nice. Mm. So um, let's talk about some of your other art ideas. Um, right. You You introduced to me about the secret gourd that you found in Itsukushima in Miyajima Island in mm -hmm. the Sen, Sen, what is it? Thousand Mat Hall. Oh, uh, Senjokaku. Senjokaku. Mm -hmm. And you had pictures on Instagram showing mm -hmm. how the wood was repaired. Oh, yeah. Can you explain that? That's so interesting. 
Mm. Yeah, uh, I'm not good at the kind of very specific way, but the, maybe the old, the wood. Uh, maybe how can I say that the shape of something round or triangle uh, to fit the kind of hole if it break, broke, yeah, and they put it as a kind of shape with kind of funny shape, like kind of good. Uh, like a yeah. gourd, yeah. Gourd, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm showing your pictures on screen oh, yeah. right now. So <laughs> Senjokaku, the thousand mat hall, is mm. such a beautiful open facility yes. in Miyajima Island mm. and it's on the hill above floating Itsukushima Shrine that everybody knows mm -hmm. um, but it's one of my favorite places to go on Miyajima it's so beautiful yes yes I've been there many times but I have mm. never noticed oh, really? this <laughs> repair work of the wood so that was such a beautiful insight mm. thank you mm. Yeah, I think it's a good way uh, to use something quite long. So uh, it's kind of sustainability. Definitely. Way. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. To use longer, mm, to longer, extend yeah. the life of mm. a product, especially such a beautiful old historical building. Mm -hmm. made of such beautiful wood so instead mm -hmm. of kind of knocking it down and building a new mm -hmm. one to yeah. repair it and to repair it with such an interesting design mm -hmm. I am so interested in that did you ask any staff about the history of that yeah you did did the mm -hmm. like the Miyajima Island people I wonder if they know any of the detail? Yes, yes. So, uh, the Senjokaku is really nice place. Yes. And it, can I introduce the kind of space? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like that place. Uh, uh, how can I say it's very simple and the building was unfinished actually you know the just wood uh, not have any colors or not uh, have any kind of decorations but the very uh, thick floor wood and very big the columns and the space is very stunning yeah yeah, I like that space. Yeah. yeah. Now, of course, Miyajima Island is also famous for the shamoji, mm, yeah. uh, the wooden paddle. So mm. actually, there's other products which are using wood on the mm -hmm. island, which are quite famous souvenir, right? Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. But this gourd shape is really mm. interesting. I was, <laughs> yeah. I was happy to learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's talk about some of your projects you did with your students. Oh, yes. Mm. There is like a wooden shelter. It looks like a, a wooden shelter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us yeah. about it? Yes. Uh, that project uh, located in Miyoshi, um, Kimita area. And that was also a competition for a student. And uh, I remember the year uh, 2015, yeah. And the competition for architecture students. And uh, six of my students gathered and uh, tackling the kind of competition. And I, I was involved as a kind of advisor in uh, the finally they won and that project is a rest house you know that's so toilet mm -hmm. in Michinoeki it's kind of how can I say Michinoeki in English 
Michi, Michi no Eki is like a rest stop? Yes. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the big parking lot and the kind, some kind of shop, local food or kind of souvenir with the hot spring there. Yeah. And yeah. the building is for rest house toilet. And the, the brief was uh, the <clears throat> we were requested the new toilet building. Mm. And because of the so many tourists came in, and but the if we make a new building next to the old one, the everyone want to go with new, right? So then so many we thought so many kind of competitors think about uh, to build a new one. So. Uh, we were thinking about how we mm, how we make uh, some new direction. So we we decided to put the new toilet around the existence building and covered a new roof, glass roof and new uh, wooden wall. Yeah, and that idea won the competition. Yeah. Uh, we were really uh, uh, glad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. So mm. instead of knocking down the old one or yeah. putting the new one next to the old one, mm. you kind of incorporated or used the old one and built a design around it. It's so clever yeah. and wonderful. Mm. Definitely more sustainable. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I love your use of wood. And mm. I am showing your Instagram after you are kind of pleased that the wood is growing back to uh, yeah, nature. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? So mm. mushrooms or? Yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I went there, I go there um, and uh, check, <laughs> uh, check uh, to check. Uh, what mm, the building uh, kind of uh, changing? How it's and, uh, evolving, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. So I found the kind of mushroom and and some uh, greens on the uh, wooden louver, yeah, wooden wall. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Um, yeah. you, you have a very interesting philosophy about mm. architecture and about design. Mm. Um, you often say everything is architecture. Oh, yeah. Can yeah. you tell us your philosophy a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, actually, that phrase, everything is architecture, is not for the word I made. Yeah, that is a very famous word in the architecture field. Uh, yes, but the, how can I say? Uh, usually, the people think architecture is somehow making buildings or making a house. Oh, sorry, the chime is ringing. <laughs> <laughs> making a building and making a house. But uh, I think. Architect and um, architect is more uh, more u useful, or more uh, more useful for other field as well. And um, architecture, everything in architecture. So I design not only architecture, interior design, but interior design or furniture or even graphic. And all of those things and the spaces, uh, uh, I, I see the kind of same way to think about the architecture. Yeah. The, the difference between architecture, interior, furniture, graphics, uh, it doesn't matter for me. So 
um, always space, always shape, always kind of idea of the project is really important. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, yes, yes. Interesting. Yeah. So, as you told, uh, I always riding, always have a ride around the city and the mountain and the island as well. And some, yeah, I often see something interesting, like, uh, how can I say it? An old tire stacking. Or, and or somehow it's very big kind of the iron tube uh, like that it's really looks like uh, contemporary minimum art <laughs> so <laughs> yeah mm. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, so uh, I'm really interested in kind of the things itself and colors and kind of texture. Yeah, all of the things I see, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, can you tell it? I love that that idea of finding inspiration everywhere mm. you yeah. are, even your everyday normal view. There mm. is something to be inspired. Yes, and yes, exactly. Yeah. I love that about your your philosophy, your point of mm. view. Uh oh. Thank you. I, am I still muted? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I can hear you. Yeah. Some some people are saying I was muted. Hopefully now is okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um I I often see your comment you say I'd like to live with feeling I'm outside if I had a house. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So can you tell yeah. me your philosophy for designing the perfect house or house design for you? Mm, yeah, it's Mm, yeah, actually, it's a little bit difficult to describe completely. Yeah, but I like I like spending time outside, like eating outside and yeah, reading outside. It's really nice experience. Yeah, and but you know, uh, it's sometimes but it's hard because. The, in summer, a lot of mosquitoes come in, <laughs> like that, yeah. But I really like uh, spending time outside, yeah. So you, in your design, you make use of a lot of natural materials, like mm. wood and glass. Mm. And you use a very minimalist uh, design, but a lot of natural light. It's it's really yeah. wonderful. Your mm -hmm. I love your designs. Thank you. Yeah. Can you explain about minimalism? What does that mean to you? Mm, yes. Uh, you know, minimalism is a kind of term of lifestyle nowadays. <laughs> but I use the term basically uh, kind of attitude uh, or yeah, of course, for things. And minimalism, I think it's very connected with the Japanese philosophy, it comes from Shinto or something like Wabi Sabi, of course. Yeah. And I like another kind of the phrases, very famous in the architecture field less is more. Yeah. So, I think design is nowadays it's it's kind of uh, good things and also bad things. So 
it's a lot of things, too many, I think. So we need to learn uh, what, mm, how much we need exactly. Yeah, that's an important thing to live well. Yeah. Mm, too many things will not you uh, kind of happy. So, yeah. Yeah. So when you design a house or building, what mm. kind of things do you think about? Do you think about outside view? Do you think about position with the sunshine? How, mm -hmm. how do you design a structure or building? Uh, basically. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Uh, yeah, thinking about house, thinking about architecture is really complicated way, you know. We need to think about your yeah, light and the sun, what how sun moves and the direction uh, and the surrounding surroundings. So so many fact uh, we we learn before we think some uh, some project. Mm. But basically in Japan. Uh, the sunlight is really important. The where is mm, the living, or where is the bedroom, or something like a function. Mm, how how can uh, place them in the correct way? Yeah, it's really difficult always. Yeah. Yeah, I'm showing your uh, design in the field in an open grassy field and a tree is next door and your building is there and there's a dog and that mm -hmm. that design it seems like a perfect oh. perfect design <laughs> in the middle in the middle of nowhere right yeah yeah middle of nowhere so yeah. if if you could choose your perfect location of mm. course maybe middle of nowhere is best right <laughs> yeah middle of nowhere but it's it's um, to 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 open, I think. It, I need more kind of trees around the house, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do you ever look at uh, some buildings and think, oh, motainai, they should have changed the design or changed the angle. It must be very uh, difficult as a designer, as mm. an architect, not to kind of find a fault in the other mm. design, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, that's kind of, uh, yeah, 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 yes. Yes, that's interesting point of view, yeah. Honestly, I feel so many times, yeah. <laughs> but then sometimes do you see a design and think, oh, I love that, good mm. job. I want to yeah. know who did that, great job. Who? Uh, yeah, I I can't say someone particularly, but yeah, lately I often um, how how can I say kind of all the things like uh, it's not a good design usually like minimalistic. It's not good shape or something, but it's somehow I could feel like. Uh, very intimate with life, their life or something, how they love that space, how they love that kind of house. Yeah, uh, it makes me kind of happy, yeah. Nice. Mm. And you're not only thinking about the new building, um, mm. like similar to your project in Miyoshi with your students, do you sometimes think about the renovation or the reform? How, yeah, could, yeah, yeah. how could you use the existing building mm. and create like a, a fresh new mm. version? Do you sometimes mm. think about that? Yes, of course. It's really important nowadays uh, kind of remaining the heritage. Uh, even if it's not a good kind of historic one or something, it's normal building, normal house. but. Uh, it was to continue to mm, renov to renovate them and give a new life of 
the house or their kind of the habitants, right? Yeah. I mm. saw on your Instagram, you also seem to really respect the old style of carpentry or mm. uh, plastering or mm. building technique in Japan. Mm. Is that right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Which, which styles do you like? Like there is the one Instagram where you're showing the, the wooden board and the plaster is coming through. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that work is one of, uh, yeah, that works that my friends work. So yeah, actually I have so many friends with, yeah, they are kind of architect. They are kind of, uh, carpenters or some some mm, the related to design or related to architecture yeah and they they works really good way yeah i respect the other kind of uh, architect yeah artisans artisans mm. and craftspeople it's yeah, uh, it's yeah, wonderful exactly. to collaborate as a designer or architect, mm, right? Mm, yes, yes, that's a good way. Mm. Yeah. So in in the picture showing the the plaster is of course made with wood from nature mm -hmm. and mm. made from earth, from earth yeah. clay or something. Um, to me, as the longer I live in Japan, this is the kind of perfect material for mm. Japan. It seems, yeah, I think so. Seems to work really well, mm, right? Mm. Yeah, but sadly, you know, it, it, it's kind of hard to uh, to build in such an old way. You know, uh, we need to allow. Uh, we need to for uh, we force it to kind of new rules or new laws using kind of metal joint or something to 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 build. Uh, to to stable or to to strong, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I had a really interesting talk with Asby Brown the other day. He wrote mm. a book about Japanese carpentry. Oh yeah, temple carpentry, mm -hmm. and talking about how the pieces just fit together, right? Yeah, no yeah. nails. Uh, just fit and then if mm -hmm. they need to move it they can just take it apart and move it to a new location or yeah. if they need to fix it they just mm -hmm. take it apart and fix the piece and put it back together and it's mm -hmm. just such a beautiful way to build buildings right mm -hmm. yeah I agree yeah but it needs kind of high skill yeah. right now yeah and a much longer longer yeah. time um, yeah. but it's such a, a beautiful crafts crafts mm. people skill which mm. is of course because that style is not so popular it's becoming uh, something forgotten yeah right? exactly. which is sad yeah. do you do you think your design or your architecture is somehow connected to your childhood or your growing up in Hiroshima, or do you feel a connection? Mm, yeah, I, mm, yeah, now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> That's such a difficult question. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, but I really like this place, Hiroshima. Yeah, I have been living most of the time here and as you told uh, i like uh, cycling and then always i feel kind of blazing in the city you know the, we have a lot of rivers and it's really it's really blazing city you know uh, in the morning the uh, the wind comes from the mountain and in the evening uh, in the afternoon it comes from the sea and always breathing yeah and if you look at the river the the water level is always changing yeah and such a kind of feeling like 
how can I explain that? The 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 feeling like uh, now I am living or something. Yeah, those kind of feeling. I I I think. I design into the kind of open space or minimal space. Yeah, actually, I use a lot of space, a lot of margin mm, the between the things and things. And how can I say it? It's very difficult to explain my design philosophy or something. But yeah, that that's interesting question. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I thought that was really interesting how I, I read that in the Connect article, how mm. you were talking about in the morning, the water. So the air with the water comes from the yeah. mountains in Hiroshima yeah. and goes to the sea. And then in the mm. afternoon, it comes from the sea and it goes back upstream. Yeah, yeah. And this is a really unique thing about Hiroshima with the six rivers. Mm. And it's connecting, f used to be five islands, but yeah. now is connected with bridges and, mm -hmm. and roads. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting because uh, like I live near Hakushima mm -hmm. and Hakushima is uh, used to be white island, right? Or a hundred uh, yeah. island, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it used to be an island, but now mm. it's connected by land. It's connected mm -hmm. by bridges. Mm -hmm. so, and that happened with five islands in Hiroshima. Mm -hmm. So it yeah. is it is a unique point that I think a lot of people don't realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. But looking at your design for Hiroshima graphy is very mm -hmm. clear, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I wanted to show uh, this is the kind of run made by five islands. Yeah. I wanted to give some, something like new perspective, new perspective uh, of the city. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's it's also clear from the design that uh, mm. it's very easy to enjoy cycling and walking mm -hmm. along the river paths, right? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Which you enjoy a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. If I... Yeah, I, I I I ride bike as my workout usually, and I commute by, by bike every day. And yeah, if I seriously want to training, I I will go to mountain. I will go to island. But uh, the city riding city riding is really fun. Yeah, so maybe I could. Uh, give you a kind of good route to enjoy Hiroshima city. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Uh, they could follow people who visit and cycle or walk mm. or, or even drive. You could follow the triangle route style yeah. that you have mm -hmm. from the sea to the mountain back to the sea, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wonderful. Um, so in this year, of course, coronavirus is very difficult to go out mm. and do new projects or architecture work. Um, mm. But do you have any plans, new ideas for design for this year? Uh, for this year, yeah. Uh, yeah, as I told you, I mainly work, uh, work for the, the, as a lecturer. So... I don't have any specific project right now, but I want to improve, to spread or to spread my idea, this project about Hiroshima graphy. Yeah. So mm, that's my main uh, project this year. <laughs> Is kind of overseeing or managing your students projects. Is that right? Mm, sorry. You help with your students projects. Mm, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. Um, also, you designed, you showed me one of your designs for a lamp or mm, room mm. or bench. Mm, yeah. Can you explain about the, the room or the mm. bench? Okay, uh, the lamp shaped kind of 
the half shapes. Okay. Yeah. I will find yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was a lamp I, I designed, and it contact to the wall, uh, and it turned off. And if you pull a little bit from the window, uh, from the wall, the light turned on. Yeah, it's like communicating the between things and the humans. Like, yeah. I love that. Mm. It's a really interesting idea. So when the oh. lamp is pushed against the wall, it's mm. off. Yeah. And when you pull it off of the wall, it turns on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What an interesting <laughs> idea. I love that. Yeah, it's like a community communicating between things like, yeah. Mm. And you also showed me a bench. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I have here this one, like <laughs> this is a bench, but it made with a kind of four sheet of very thin wood or something. And then oh, oh. Uh, I, I, I'm demonstrating this. <laughs> yeah, please demonstrate. <laughs> so this size is just A4 size, so you can uh the disassemble it and you can put it like this kind of very small flat pack in your bookshelf or something yeah <laughs> and then when you need it you can yeah. get it out and yeah. make a make a stool make a bench mm, yes yes <laughs> i love it i love the idea maybe you could make a lighter one mm -hmm. and people could use it when they go to watch their children at the sports day mm, or mm, something, yeah. right? Mm. <laughs> it's a nice idea. Mm. Also, you had a wooden shelter with lots of glass. Did you design the house? It looks like oh, the wooden shelter with your students, but then oh. there was a house. You shared the picture with lots of windows. Mm, 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 mm. Did you design that? Yes, yes, with, uh, with my friend, uh, the famous architect, uh, we were designed, uh, we designed that house uh, 2001, yeah. Where is that? That's beautiful. Oh, uh, yes, that house located in Higashi Hiroshima, yeah. Near mm. the university? Uh, not, not near the university, uh, it's more like, how? Hmm? Where? Uh... It, it doesn't I, matter. I, yeah, I fall about yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but the, the idea of using so much glass, um, when yeah. I see buildings in Japan, I love, love, love this design. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes when buildings in Japan, when they have a new design and they mm. have so much beautiful windows, and mm. then you see immediately people cover the windows. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Right? And it makes yeah. me so sad. <laughs> but yeah, that, yeah, that house is really have, have a really good locations. Yeah. So the uh, the first floor the with grass grass wind uh, grass wall. Yeah, you can see, you can enjoy the kind of view, and the bedrooms. The it's kind of half, uh, half underground. Yeah, it's very comfy. Yeah, I see. <laughs> and then it it looks like the glass is working kind of like an engawa. Mm, mm, mm. So you do have privacy inside. Um, yeah. But the glass is kind of an engawa all around the outside. So if you mm -hmm. want to open up, you can. And if yeah. you want privacy, you can, right? That's, yeah. that's such yeah. a nice idea. Mm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, if you need a kind of private, that just uh, pull the curtain or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm sad if I see the curtain all the time. 
Mm-hmm. Some, some yeah. of my neighbors or some nearby building, they have such beautiful windows, but the curtain mm. is always in front of the window. <laughs> and I feel sad for them that they're not enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why you put that such a big window in your house? <laughs> yeah. It's your house, yeah. <laughs> or sometimes you see the business or the government office, and mm. they have many papers stacked against oh, yeah. the window. Mm. And you're like, Motai nai. Waste, yeah, motai nai. waste yeah. of a good window. But maybe yeah. before it was a wall. <laughs> so they were stacking against the wall. And oh, yes, yes, yes. Where do you yes. put things, right? Yeah. yeah. And that, that is the <laughs> challenge for you because minimalism, mm, you mm, cannot mm. have too many things. Exactly. Yeah. It's a nice chance, good chance to learn. <laughs> How do you do it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to explain the the concept to be a minimalist. Yeah, it needs time. But uh, if you think really uh, what you need exactly, yeah, that's a key point. Yeah, mm. it's like in America uh, or all over the world, actually, Marie Kondo is oh, yeah. <laughs> so famous now because she's teaching people how to live a more minimalist <laughs> yes, lifestyle. Yes. It's so difficult, right? Um, <laughs> I remember when I moved house and we had to move everything out. Mm. And then I love my house when it's empty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I need more storage so mm. I can put things away that's a big problem Mm -hmm. for many houses in japan right not enough storage Mm -hmm. yeah i think so yeah but then i try to think if i didn't use it for one year Mm. i should pass it on yeah 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 yeah. right Mm. and try little by little to become minimalist is that what you do Mm. yeah yeah i i have just a uh, few clothes or only type of clothes like kind of a uniform like <laughs> yeah and as a cyclist you must mm. have a lot of uh, cycling gear or bicycle mm, yes <laughs> that's a kind of <laughs> different yeah <laughs> but i i love in onomichi the u2 uh. hotel Mm-hmm. They have a very small space, mm-hmm. but they created a really nice design so you can put your bicycle above your bed mm-hmm. on yeah. the wall. Mm-hmm. So I often see really good ideas about minimalism in Japan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hotel was designed by my friend. Yeah, oh, that's really? really nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Um, so in the future, maybe you can help design some of the bicycle plus hotel mm, or bicycle yeah. plus restaurant. Mm, it would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need that more, right? Like oh, yeah. if you visit um, bicycle friendly cities like Amsterdam mm. or mm, mm. Uh, even Seattle, you can see some kind of creative bicycle parking. Mm. which goes up the wall or something, you know? And I think we need that more in Hiroshima. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Please design it. Okay, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Please introduce introduce me to someone. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Let's. If I hear of anyone who's looking for a new bicycle design, let's let's try it. (laughs) Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. It's so interesting to hear about your design ideas. And <laughs> I love your Hiroshima graphy design. I hope people can find it at the gift shop in the yeah. Peace Park Museum. <laughs> and uh, if you search online Hiroshima graphy with the hashtag, uh, yeah. you can see some unique variations of the idea too, which is wonderful. Yeah. So I hope sometime to see the Hiroshima graphy cookie as well. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. It's a great idea. Yeah, Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for joining today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.
Uh, good luck. It was so fun. Oh, good. Thank you so much. Um, if you're watching, thank you so much for watching. And please join us again tomorrow as we talk about kimono fashion and upcycling with Sheila Cliff tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So please join us again. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye.